In the 60s, uh, Duncan Fernley, welcome. Uh, Norman Gifford, uh, captain of Worcestershire, 1974, won the championship when Basil was in the side. And a very, very, very great friends of Basil. Uh, Damien Dolivier, who did have a passing acquaintance with Basil. Um, fleeting. Fleeting. <laughs> Who's going to speak on behalf of the family today if you want to chat to him? Uh, and, about the and John McKenna, John is, is the guy who's going to actually make, uh, sculpt. Is that the word I'm looking for? Right? Right. Build, I was going to say. Uh, build the statue. So they're probably the four people you want to talk to. Uh, also, we have uh, Howard, uh, Dorm, uh, Catherine, and Max, who's on the camera here, who are all the, the original founders of the, uh, the Dolivera Committee. Uh, they've, they're just enthusiasts who've come together to try and raise this money uh, to A, build the statue, and then uh, carry on with the foundation. So that's who everybody is. Uh, if there's anything else you need, as I say, help yourself to tea and coffee. Uh, we'll probably split everybody up now. Uh, so tell us what you want. Uh, I know uh, Nick will want somebody outside with the lovely scenes in the background. But uh, basically, it's, it's, it's a bit of a, a free for all. So gra grab whoever you want. So if we can do things together, it'll help. Uh, but if not, then uh, we've got plenty of time to play yeah, with. Yeah, so again, thanks for having me. That the ECB would be quite proud of that. It's quite <laughs> In such a dignified and gentlemanly way, he was put into a situation that wasn't his making, and yet he dealt with it um, as a true sportsman. And people go on about heroes nowadays, but people at Basel are the real heroes. And these are the people that the kids really want to look up to. They don't want to look up to celebrities and they come and go. The people at Basel are this one. Because the fury was that he was going to be picked for the England team to play in South Africa, That's is that right? But the South African government there said, you can't pick him to play for you. That's right, that's right. And they said, if you pick him, um, we, we won't play. And then we suddenly realised, hang on a minute, half to make means that in sport and in every walk of life, you're being discriminated because of colour? I mean, <laughs> you know how stupid it is? And, 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 and then, of course, they didn't pick him. And then there was an injury, and then they had to pick him. And then all of a sudden, there was no play. And it was, um, as I said, it was the, the understanding of just your ordinary person in the street for the first time ever about what apartheid really meant. And, and, I mean, you know, the Brits, there is still the core of we do like fair play. And this wasn't fair play. And we weren't having it. So this was the start of, you know, and that's why I remember it. And that's why when Howard and, and when Norman and when Dawson said, are you interested in trying to get this going? I said, you stop me. And, and that's my involvement. And I still don't understand cricket. I mean, this is this was his home. I mean, and he stayed here all his life. And and Worcestershire was his pride and joy. It really was. I looked at a photograph the other day of him, and it showed there's a photograph of him with Nelson Mandela, and he stood there being photographed with Nelson Mandela. And what has he got on? His Worcestershire blazer. <laughs> And that, for me, that typifies what Basil felt about this county. He was quite, um, quite a modest man generally. You know, he, when all the fuss blew up over the yes. Dolivera affair, yeah. uh, you'd have been playing alongside him in, yeah. the, in the county changing room. Obviously, Tom Graveney was involved yeah, in that very at the much time. So. Yeah. How, did, how did he react to that? What was his you know, private reaction, and, and how did you talk to him and deal with it? Do you know? There was, there was never a lot said at all about the subject, really. I mean, Basil just got on with playing his cricket. I don't think, I don't think it affected Basil at all. I mean, he just got on with playing his cricket. Um, and we never, we never really sat down and discussed all the implications of what was happening. No, it was, it was you know, it was, you know, that's out there. I'm just, all I want to do is play cricket. And, and it really was that, you know, we never had, even when we'd had a few beers at night and you'd try to get him to talk, no, it, it, would never, it never brought that subject up at all. We, we talked a little bit about his cricket in Cape Town and what went on then, but even that was, you know, wasn't a, you know, a huge amount talked about his cricket there. And yet he became one of the most significant sporting figures of the 20th century, didn't he? Yes, he did, yeah, without a doubt. And, you know... 
what he was what 33 34 when he came over here and what people he you know what a decision to make wasn't it he'd got a family young family then and he made the decision to move from cape town over to middleton you know it was huge for, for someone like basil that had been used to the apartheid sort of system over there to come over here and cricket wise when he went to middleton that was the first time he'd ever played on a grass wicket which you know suddenly to and you know what it, in those days if you were a pro in the lancashire league then there was a lot expected of you you know a lot of experience and i think he followed sobers into middleton so you know he he was following quite a significant sort of figure and he did really well there. He did really well. We're approaching the 50th year, I guess, when Adolavira has been involved here yeah. at New Road, because he arrived yeah. in 64, yeah. um, and, and now Brett is playing on the books yeah. as well. So that's yeah. a hell of a cricketing legacy oh. for the county. But yeah. do you think that the statue itself kind of tops that off if it gets built? I think if it gets built, and, I, and I'm sure it will do, that, that it's right. You know, you, you're right in what you said. He was, he was a cricketing hero for this county, and this county meant an awful, awful lot to him.